Dream a little dream of me. Welcome kindreds, it's Jessica the Story Witch. It's been a little while, I know. I'm, I'm sorry and thanks to the people who reached out and kind of asked me, am I still making videos without being like, why aren't you making videos? You know, people have been very kind about it. I know I don't have to make videos. <laughs> Um, but yeah, it was kind of sweet that people were like, oh, I've really missed you doing your unboxings or, you know, um, my newsletter. I had a lovely message saying why I'd like, you know, am I still doing my newsletter, which I send out every month. Um, and yeah, that's kind of sweet. So this video is just going to be a little rambly catch up. If that's not your kind of thing, then, you know, feel free not to watch this. I'm hoping to film a couple of videos today. I've got a book review and giveaway to do. And um, so I'm going to make a separate video for that. And I'm hoping to also film, do my bullet journal setup for August and film that. Um, this may be a bit ambitious, <laughs> but we will see. My, kid, my kids are in my parents today, so I actually have the day to be able to do some things and catch up on some stuff. So yeah, I'm feeling really chill and really nice. So that's good. And it's a bit cooler here today. It's been so hot here in Wales the last couple of days. I'm not made for really hot weather, so... I'm really glad there's a little bit of a breeze today. It's still warm, which is lovely, but um, not like oppressive, which is what it has been like. So yeah, <laughs> I'm rambling already. I know I just haven't done this for a while. I feel a little bit awkward and like, I'm not really sure what to do. I wasn't sure if I was even gonna, you know, carry on with my channel and stuff, but I have missed it. I've missed chatting with you guys and sharing some stuff about, you know, where I'm at, what I'm doing and, um, and like the interaction in the comments and stuff like that as well, I've missed that. So, so yeah, um, I have still been posting over on Instagram because I'm doing my year of every day there where I'm posting like a little thing every day, although I have missed some days. I haven't been like mega, mega every single day, but most days, I haven't missed very many days. So yeah, I have been there, but not, um, not here. So I'm sorry about that and not doing the newsletter. But if you are on my newsletter list, I am going to be writing one to send for August. So with the moon info and everything like that. So um, yeah, <laughs> if you've been missing it, it's coming back. So that's good. I am thinking I might be changing things up with the channel and the newsletter and stuff over the next few months, but I'm just going to give myself some grace and and just kind of ease into things and find my way. I've been doing a lot more, um, as, like you guys know, I love astrology. I've been kind of diving deeper into specifically medical astrology, which is the area that I've been really interested in for a long time. I just didn't really feel like I knew enough about it um, to begin practicing. But I'm kind of, yeah, and then I'd be pissed off, you know, other people who like start learning astrology and then six months later they're offering consultations and stuff. And I'd be like, oh, look at them doing that and they don't really know enough about it. But like you can learn a lot in six months and if people feel ready, then maybe they are ready. And like, yeah, OK, I've been learning it for like nearly 30 years. And, you know, maybe that says more about me and my lack of being ready and... Um, the, more of a kind of confidence thing than um, whether I am actually ready to start doing that kind of thing. But I don't know enough specifics about the medical astrology. So I am doing some more training in that, which I'm really excited about. I have signed up to do some training with Judith Hill, who's like one of the main astrologers um, in that in that field. I've also done some tra training with Kira Sutherland, who's another medical astrologer. And I'm super excited to be combining the medical astrology with herbalism as well, which are like kind of my two loves. So um, yeah, astro herbalism. And I'm hoping to do another course later in the year as well, which is specifically like astro herbal related. And yeah, I'm super excited about that. So I have been busy, even though I haven't been making videos and I'm hoping to maybe bring more of that kind of astro herbalism, more kind of green witchery and stuff like that into the channel, because I don't share stuff like that, I think, because a lot of it is stuff that I just do and like I don't I don't think about it as being something that other people might want to see and things but then I I like watching videos about people crafting like I, I was lucky enough to harvest a load of St John's wort um, not at the solstice because it wasn't it wasn't in flower then but not too long after the solstice and I've I've made like a tincture and I'm in the process of making um, a body oil and stuff from that just simple things like that, that I think actually that would be really nice to share on the channel. So I'm going to try and, well, tell me if you think that would be cool to share, but I, things like that, I think 
It's so simple, but it's a lovely way of bringing magic into the everyday, which is what I love, that whole everyday magic vibe. Um, is something that I want to bring here more and, um, and share more, so yeah. I've also um, received a couple of things, which is really cool, and I was going to show you those. Um, and I've also been enjoying watching a couple of other channels and stuff. I've been watching lots of channels, but not necessarily commenting all the time because, um, I, like, you know, sometimes when you just feel a bit oh, overstretched, like in theory, if I do those like um, Myers-Briggs tests and stuff like that, I come out as like on the very much border between introvert and extrovert, but slightly on the extrovert side. Um, but I feel like a lot of that is to do with the answers. Um, I kind of force myself to be able to do the things that I need to do to be an extrovert, um, even though it, it doesn't come that naturally for me, for um, those kind of um, behaviours. But the whole like definition of extrovert and introvert more has been like where you gain energy from, like do you gain energy from being with other people or do you gain energy from being alone? And um, so like if you're an introvert, you gain energy from being alone, whereas if you're an extrovert, you gain energy from being with other people. And like not in like an energy vampire kind of way that just does fill you without draining that other person um, or people. And I do definitely find that both of those things work for me, but um, I find it easier to draw energy from solitude. Um, and then I, I kind of forget sometimes then how nice it is to also spend time with people. And like obviously with all the pandemic stuff and everything, spending time with people has been fraught. Um, and and just more difficult than usual. So, um, yeah, <laughs> I feel a bit emo now. But yeah, it's, um, I've got some ideas about things that I wanna change and wanna share and things like that anyway. So I'll show you the things that I've got um, to show and um, this won't be a super long rambly video, hopefully. It'll just be a super short rambly video. <laughs> so the first thing I wanted to show you is this gorgeous, I don't know if it's going to show up really good here. This witch's ladder, which I know I've shared about her channel here before. And if you've been missing my witchy journaling videos, then you've hopefully been watching Rebecca's videos. This is Rebecca Getchell made this and she sent it to me as a birthday present, which I was so, it's so personalised and so special. It's got like um, charms on there for my... Um, sun, moon and rising signs. It's got specific stones chosen for um, their connection with me. It's got stars <laughs> and like um, other little meaningful charms like crown and stuff. And she sent me this whole letter about why all the things have been intentionally chosen. And um, she sent me the, the candle that she had burned while she was crafting it. The, like kind of the rest of the candle, gorgeous beeswax candle. And she also sent me a little video um, record, well, voice recording of her singing the song that she sang while she was crafting it so I could also sing that song. And I, it was just really special. And it, I haven't decided where I'm going to put this yet. At the moment, it's just hanging above my desk where I do my journaling and stuff like that. Um, but I feel like I'm gonna put it somewhere else in the home as like, cause you know, like witch's ladder is traditionally kind of protective and stuff. So yeah, I I was really, really kind of moved by that and really, it's, it's just beautiful. So if you see my Instagram, you, I, I shared about that when I received it. It was a while ago now, cause my birthday was in June. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really lovely. I, it brings me joy to see it. <laughs> and another thing that I bought is this deck. Um, you've probably seen me using my Animal Allies, um, well not one, just Animal Allies <laughs> um, deck by Jessica Swift. I'll show you a little bit of it. This is basically like a kind of second, a part two with more animals in it, which, you know, it's just really, well, maybe I'll do a flip through of this at some point, but I'll just show you a couple of the cards so you can kind of see the art style. Um, I, I love it and there's not like a guide but it just comes with like a fold out thing with just a small amount of information you know just a couple of lines about each animal 
but I find that's enough and like I use it then as a starting point to kind of go deeper in, in with that animal. And what I intend on doing, I haven't done it yet, is to take the two packs together and go through and choose animals which are like local to me here and use it as a kind of like more local animal deck because some of the animals um, are not local. <laughs> Although, like, you could use it in different ways, couldn't you? Like, if you were doing, like, water element workings um, or you're focusing on, on doing some, like, emotional release using water kind of thing, um, then you could pull out all the water animals or you could, you know, do air stuff and you could pull out all the birds. Um, I, you know, there's so many ways. I mean, I'm excited to, to have this number of animals all together. I don't know how many it is, actually. Oh, 60 cards. And I think the first one was the same, so, you know... That's a lot of cards. <laughs> like physically, you could just just pack, put the two packs together, but like obviously then that would be a massive jumbo pack, um, which you know it's not a bad thing. But I would struggle to shuffle that because you know tiny hands. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited about that. I haven't really. I've only done one draw from it so far. I've kind of been figuring out how I'm going to use it and thinking about how I'm going to use it. So. Yeah, I, I haven't used it lots yet, but I am excited about it. So yeah, let me know if you'd like to see a little bit more of that deck and I could do a flip through maybe. Um, I think that's all I've got to show. I had a really lush witch casket this month. The July witch casket was um, water themed and it had some really gorgeous things in it. Really, really lovely box. I'm hoping they're going to do all of the elements like that. Um, I've put most of it like away now, although if you can see it's like chaos around me, I've got plans to turn this unit, which is like I've emptied it all um, on my dustpan and brushes there on top. <laughs> but yeah, it's, um, I didn't really check behind me before I started filming, but it's um, going to be, I'm basically going to turn it into an apothecary cupboard, which I'm really excited about. And I'll definitely film that because it's like, I think that's going to be, I'm, I'm excited for it. So it's got... Um, it's just an Ikea Calyx unit and I already had drawers in some parts of it but I've taken all those out because I'm going to try and paint all the white like a really dark colour, like almost like black, like a really dark grey and I've bought um, like the top of a Welsh dresser but it's not very big, it's sort of a small top so it will fit on top of that and I'm obviously going to fix that to the wall and fix the bottom bit to the wall and paint it all the same colour and everything and then I can keep all my um, herbs and things like that and, and stones and things. It's basically just my little green witchy dream. So, <laughs> so I'll make a video, but that's going to be a while because, you know, it's quite a bit of painting and fixing up and sorting out sort of thing. So, yeah, I'm not expecting that anytime soon, especially because it's hot, because I'm just not going to be wanting to be groveling around painting when it is this warm. So, but I do need to do it soon because I've packed away like a lot of my incense and candles and stuff like that. So that's also peeing me off. So I only did it yesterday and it's already peeing me off. So yeah. <laughs> so that's something exciting that I'm doing. I've been enjoying journaling. I've done not so many pages actually, but I've been enjoying kind of just connecting in with my journal. I'll just show you July. I um went with this kind of like light greeny, almost kind of like a, a kind of, pale pastel-y greeny theme and um I haven't chosen the colour for August yet but I think I'm going to go with something a little bit more zingy so I'm going to do that a little bit later on today um and apart from that I've been really enjoying I've been diving back into some of the channels that I really enjoy watching the videos and like watching some of the older videos I maybe haven't seen before and stuff I I um particularly enjoying Candy and um, Soil and Soul. If you haven't seen her videos, I'm sure you do if you watch my videos, because I think we've got a similar kind of vibe on things. And she's very kind of arty and creative and she's got all this beautiful hair and everything. She's just, oh, she's delicious. So um, I'll put a link to her channel down below just in case you haven't seen it, but she's been sharing about her depth year. She shares like happies every month of things that she's been enjoying and stuff, like, which I enjoy watching those videos. Um, and she does like little tours of her garden and like art videos and stuff where you can watch her creating art and things. So it's a, it's a treat. It's a treat of all sorts of lovely stuff, which is really awesome. Um, I've also been enjoying Eris Elizabeth's um, channel and her Instagram actually as well. Um, so I'll put a link to that down below. She is also very art witchy 
and um, and also just doing linen and stuff like that as well. She's down in Australia, so I suppose it depends on which way you look at it, up in Australia. <laughs> Definitely down, I guess, from me, depending on which way up the globe is. So yeah, I'm just, you know, rambling. Um, so yeah, I'll put a link to her channel and I'm super excited because um, Renee at Meadowlark Mystic, I hope you watch her channel as well, so I'll leave a link to that down below. She does the most amazing tarot videos. She's just, um, her like way of talking about the tarot and understanding the tarot is really um, deep, it's profound. And um, she does a lot of like, she, does, she modifies some of the decks and she's also now started creating um, well, she's created a, a Divine Feminine Oracle deck, which looks amazing. And she started an Etsy shop where she's creating pieces of art from um, collage of different goddesses. And then she's like kind of pasting them onto plaques and stuff and creating them. And so they're like altar pieces, one of a kind, um, really gorgeous, handmade altar pieces, which are just really, really beautiful. So I'll put a link to that and just generally watch all of Renee's um, tarot content because it's, it's really, really good. She also shares journaling stuff as well. She does um, stuff in her journal, which is is really, um, she's really arty too. So yeah, there's obviously a bit of an arty theme going through the stuff that I have been enjoying. And funnily enough, I personally haven't been doing very much like arty stuff myself. So perhaps I'm vicariously um, enjoying, enjoying that art. So I think that's it. <laughs> <laughs> thanks so much for watching like I said I'm going to film a couple of other videos today so hopefully I'll have some more things coming out over the next couple of weeks um, for you guys to watch as well um, also one other video that somebody asked for which I think I might do is a flip through of the light seers which you might be thinking why because there's like a bazillion of them already on YouTube but I really enjoy using that deck and I feel like it's got more depth and neons than than is perhaps it's given credit for i think it's, it's very rider weight most of it and then there's some very small deviations from rider weight which i think are interesting and um i like renee medal mystic made a really fun video about why she hates that deck <laughs> so um that's worth watching if you're interested in the light series as well but she had to kind of admit that actually she gets good readings from it too so so yeah, I might do a flip through of that to let me know if you're interested maybe in seeing that. Um, I kind of feel a bit all over the place because I haven't made a video in ages, but what are you going to do? Thanks so much for watching. Warmest, warmest blessings. And I will see you very soon. Da, 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 da. Ah.